It's a continuation of working on Russ Kammerer's Seidel Symphony. We're now going to clean the parts. Just dish detergent. Because this was so filthy, bring it again. Come in on the top holes. You want to be careful when you're working on a slide that you always have it on a support surface. These happen to be a very thick slide, but you do want to make sure that uh, you get them clean. Also, I would rinse for a lot longer than you think you should have to because they, uh, if there's any residue of that soap, you're definitely gonna taste it. One of the other advantages of taking those reed plates off the comb is that I have the option to do uh, reed gap adjustment, which I'll do in this instance. No signs of any dirt in this at all. Now, when I'm working on reed plates, I, I don't want too much water pressure. I certainly would not touch them. I wouldn't brush them. I wouldn't rub them. I don't do anything. I just do what I'm doing. So water, rinse. I do have the problem here that there are thumbprints on this one. I'm going to have to get in here and work on that a little bit. I normally would not use any soap on a reed plate at all, but in this case there were oily fingerprints from the other owner. So I'll just take a little extra time to clean. Looking good. Reed gaps look correct. For the 
that pretty much completes this and I'll uh, set these uh, up, lean them on something to dry, use the towel on the others, and that completes that.